Hello, today we're going to talk about web withdrawing and web dropping. So let's say I was registered in a class and I wanted to get out of it. What you do is you click on your gateway account, student dashboard, click on register for classes. So take you to your screen where you'd click on register and then register for classes again. Then you'd select which term that you wanted to drop a class or withdraw from a class. In this case, we're gonna select spring. As you can see, I'm currently enrolled in a sociology class that I want to web drop. There's a difference between web dropping and web withdrawing. Web dropping is, it happens much earlier. And this is where if you were to web drop, uh, it would look like you didn't even exist in the class, you'd get your money back. If we're past the point where you can actually web drop, then it would be considered a web withdrawal. Web withdrawing has certain implications. Um, the good news is with web withdrawing is it does not impact your grade point average. However, it can impact your financial aid. So anytime a student is considering withdrawing, we always encourage them to double check with our financial aid office. So in this case, it's a web drop. So I'm gonna click web drop, and then I'll hit submit. And now you can see that I am officially out of that sociology class. We hope that this video helps you.